Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. As some of you guys may know, I did take a little bit of a break from YouTube, but over the past couple months or so, I have been collecting and making some home decor. So today I wanted to sit down and do a nice cozy haul with you and show you how I style it in my home. So I'm hoping to give you a bunch of design inspiration for your own home and a budget friendly ways to decorate your home to look very high end and very designer. And if you're new, make sure that you subscribe down below a couple weeks ago I did post the first part of my craft room makeover we made like a faux floral vintage wallpaper and it turned out so good so if you haven't seen that video definitely be sure to check that out and stay tuned for part two hopefully coming in a few weeks as well and if you enjoyed the video make sure that you give it a thumbs up it really helps to support my channel and also let me know what you guys like to see so I have a big pile of decor in front of me let's go ahead and get started so the first thing we're going to start with is something that I made. There's only a couple items in here that I did make myself, but there are so many places you could get these sorts of things. I had a ceramics and also a sculpture class, so this is where those items are coming from. So first I wanted to start with these adorable bookends. So I made these in my ceramics class. I actually made these right before the holiday season, which is why they have these adorable trees carved into them. But I absolutely love these. The color of these is absolutely stunning. It's a very sort of earthy, green, which I really like to incorporate into my decor. I love neutrals and especially right now, these very dark moody tones are really, really popular. So I feel like this really brings that in beautifully. And bookends are personally something that I have never owned. So I definitely knew that I wanted to make them, but they're a really unique shape. I made them out of slabs. So I made a bunch of different shapes and basically attached them all together and carved a bunch of fun details. Something that I've really styled with a lot over the past couple years are old books. So I felt like there was no better way to accent those then to add a decorative bookend to make them look super fun. And especially for the holiday season, these look super pretty, of course, with the trees, but I even have these up now because it is still winter here in Michigan. But I wanted to mention these because I feel like I'm always finding bookends that are super inexpensive at HomeGoods, Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, all those places where you can find really authentic, curated pieces that don't break the bank. And you can style these in so many different places. I'm personally going to style them on one of my floating shelves. I have a grouping of a bunch of old books that I like to stand up and then I put these on either side and they just add a good pop of color. And it also allows you to play with vertical space when you are decorating. So I absolutely love these. If you don't already have a pair of bookends for all year round, I definitely think it's a good thing to check out. The next item actually came from Hobby Lobby. It was after the holidays, the new year had started and they had a whole section of clearance finds. When I found out that that was going on, I immediately went back a couple days later. So I wanted to take a bit more of a look at what they all had and I'm so glad I did because I picked up one of my most favorite paintings ever. So I absolutely love this painting. It has so much texture on it. I love the colors. It really complements my living room space and just my whole entire home in general. I love how simplistic yet detailed it is. It has a little house in there to sort of add a little bit of interest and I feel like it just is so beautiful. It also has a really pretty frame. It's really thick, so it just feels really, really high quality. And when I went, they had a bunch of these, including a bunch of other landscape paintings, and you could never go wrong with a really low priced landscape. And the price on this was originally $27.99 and I got it for $6.99. I could not pass this up. It is just so pretty. Obviously you could hang this on a wall, you could hang it in a bathroom space, or just any small place that could hold a little painting like this. But I personally love styling this on my open shelves as well. I like to just lean it up against the wall and accent it with florals and anything else that I have on hand. Whenever I can bring in really, really natural colors, natural textures, and landscapes, landscapes. I definitely take the opportunity to do so. I feel like it's such a designer thing to do and it really just gives your eyes something different to look at rather than florals and textiles. This is just really soothing and if you look at some of my past videos, I've also made landscapes 
landscapes that are similar to this. So you could definitely do this yourself, find some inspiration and make something for your own home. Absolutely love this find, got it for a wonderful price. Up next and the last item that I actually made in this whole haul is something that I see all the time in places like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, even Hobby Lobby. But it's just something that I never pick up because you never think to pick up those little things that are going to finish off those styled vignettes in your home. And this is one of them. It is a little white bird. It's actually made out of plaster. I made this in my sculpture class. We had to do a sort of casting sort of project and I decided to get a statue of a bird that my teacher already had on hand and I just put it in a mold and made my own mold of it. And it's just so cute. I was planning on painting it black, but in the place where I styled it, I feel like that pop of white is really pretty. But down the road, I may finish this off and seal it and make it super nice. But for now, I really love the way that this looks. It has a few imperfections in it, which I actually really like. It makes it feel more rustic and natural. And this sort of styling piece is perfect for finishing off styling moments on a shelf. That's personally where I'm going to be styling it. I have my painting, my florals, as well as this little bird to just finish off that trio and really complete it. You can also use this in end table styling. You could use it on open bookshelves, especially if you have a very dark, rich stain on those bookshelves or anything like that. This would really pop off of it. And something like this is super easy to find, like I said, in almost all craft stores and places like Home Goods. But I wanted to mention this really quick because picking up those little things that are going to finish off a space and make it feel really intentional are the things that tend to be overlooked. And I feel like that's a really good tip when it comes to decorating your home to make it look like a designer did it. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, I did find that canvas as well as this vase. I absolutely love this vase. I don't own any black vases. And when I saw it with this handle detail as well, I could not pass it up, especially for the price. The original sticker is not on here, but it is $13.99 on clearance. Whenever you go over to the vase section in Hobby Lobby, especially that newer aisle that they have of all the vases, their original prices are usually in the 50s. And I feel like this is so great, especially for the size. Like I said, this vase has that beautiful sort of handle detail on both sides. I love how tall it is. And how it sort of bulges in the middle and is very vertical. I feel like a lot of vases nowadays can be really short and very wide, which is very beautiful for certain things, but I love having a variety of vases like this that are tall and also really deep in color. Again, bringing in those really rich tones that make your home feel really curated and styled and intentional. I love pairing this on my wooden side table in our sort of reading nook area of our living room. I feel like the black really contrasts with that wood tone. You could put any sort of branches in here but I really like to style my olive branches that I picked up from Hobby Lobby but just a few of those stems make this feel like such a lush beautiful very lived in arrangement and of course you could put this arrangement anywhere you could put it on a sideboard you could use it for shelf styling you could even put it in the middle of a coffee table you could also style it on a wooden stool of some sort again playing with that contrast absolutely love this when i saw it and i saw the price i simply could not not bring it home with me so i'm glad that i added that to the cart so after the holidays are over and we go into the new year i find myself craving some really simple realistic greenery to fill in all those areas where the pine was or the red berries. I really like a very simplistic casual feel. So at Hobby Lobby, at a different time that I got all the other things, I go to Hobby Lobby quite often, I found these stems. Now I actually plan on using these for a different DIY project that I'll be sharing with you guys, but these are beautiful stems to incorporate into all year round styling and especially refresh your home. After the holidays, after Valentine's Day, they're just perfect for that sort of thing. So I believe I got five or seven of these. They're super realistic looking. They're just this beautiful shade of green. I love the different variations. Some are a little bit darker, some are a little bit lighter. They're a very whimsical, very bendable branch, which I love. In that vase that I just shared with you guys, I can actually just put one of these in there. And if I move the branches around just right, if I bend them around a bit, just one stem can make that vase feel super full, which I really love. And this one that I'm holding on to specifically was $5.99. I believe I went when the florals were 40% off. But when I was checking out, I'm trying to find one, I think. I think this one is it. So this one was $5.99 originally, and this one was $2.99. They were both together, so I kind of figured that they were the same thing. So when I went to check out, the gal that was helping me was like, did you mean to grab different 
prices and I was like what do you mean and they do look slightly different the more cheap one it does have bigger leaves and up close I guess this one has a little bit more of like a variation sort of factory made look to it they really don't look very different if I'm being honest. So by accident I ended up getting like five of the more expensive ones and two of the less expensive ones. But like I said it worked out just fine. For the project I'm intending these for I think it's actually great that we have a little bit of variation because it'll make it look more realistic. But you could use these in so many different ways. Obviously you can put a bunch in different vases. If you wanted you can complement it with colored flowers. I even made a floral arrangement last year for spring that I used I believe these exact florals in. There's so many different ways you could use these. Greenery is such a great way to refresh your home and for the price I feel like it was such a good find and something that I can use for years to come. So I guess I need to tell you guys the project that I'm going to be working on. The greenery branches as well as this basket I feel like sort of give it away. So I plan on making a tree if yeah. So something in our home that we have never had is a sort of faux tree and i've always wanted to get one but i feel like they go for hundreds of dollars and i know there are some for like 150 on amazon and i am a college student i cannot spend my money like that especially on things like home decor so i don't know if you guys have seen it but i feel like on youtube and tiktok instagram you will see people actually making these trees and i'm actually in the process of doing that at the moment i wanted to do this haul first before the items were bound together and I wasn't able to show them individually. But this was a clearance find. It was the same time that I went and got the vase as well as that painting. And it's just this really cute black basket. I wanted something that was going to be darker in color. Again, just to add some contrast. And I love the material of this. I started with a sort of ceramic pot, but it was really expensive in comparison to this. This was $13.74. So it was actually a little bit cheaper than that black vase that I showed you. But I feel like this is just going to look so nice. Of course, there are a million different things you could do with this. The first thing I think is maybe putting it on a console of some sort. If you have a very low shelf, you could put it down there with a pillow inside or a blanket just to really soften the space. You could even use it for organization in a mud room. You could even use this for a bunch of dog toys if you want a place to conceal those and have a good spot to put those. Lots of different things to do with this. I was so thrilled about the price that I got this for and like I said that video will be coming very soon. Make sure you're subscribed. It's gonna be so so good. Up next is something that I happen to just find in my home which is really surprising. I feel like there's not many decor pieces in this house that I do not know about but I found this in one of our drawers actually in the cabinet behind me and I thought these are so popular right now it's actually really nice that we just have one of these so this is what it is it is what you call I believe a candle shusher and it's in this beautiful brass tone so personally we only use this type of thing for decor for decoration purposes strictly because we don't really light any tapered candles or anything like that but it's just a really nice accent kind of like the bird that sort of is just something small that you don't really think about but you can find these pretty much anywhere. I know Hearth and Hand has some that they've released for this spring, for past Christmases. They have probably released a couple of these. You can also find these sorts of things at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, where they're more authentically made. I love going to TJ Maxx and Home Goods and finding things like this that were made in Portugal or things like that that are just really interesting and also very unique. But personally, I love styling this on our console below our TV. I have a couple styling books there as well as a candle and a floral arrangement and I really like to just put this next to that candle because it looks like it has a purpose even though it actually doesn't but it just looks really nice it contrasts well with all the different tones going on and obviously you can style this on a shelf you could even use it as part of some coffee table styling with a sort of shallow bowl or basket even on an ottoman but I feel like this is just so cute and for some reason it just really adds that cozy feel especially if you have a candle lit it is so so cute I absolutely Absolutely love it and I love that I can use it all year round and style it in so many different places all right we are starting to get towards the end of this haul so the next piece is something that I also found at Hobby Lobby I don't remember what trip I found this at it was one of the last 10 trips that I've been there in the past couple months or so so this is it, it again it's just really small 
a really pretty amber glass vase. And this was a $7.99. I want to say it was 40 or 50% off. It's sort of part of those midsections that sort of rotate every couple weeks to being on sale and not being on sale. So if you see something like this, definitely come back the next week and most likely it'll be on sale. But I just thought this was so cute. If you haven't seen my craft room makeover, I plan on using this there. I haven't actually put it in its place yet. But again, I love the really rich tones of this. I love the sort of slight burgundy color that is coming through. That color is starting to come back a bit, but I just really love the richness that it adds. It's very timeless and classic with the color, but it also has this very modern shape, which I love. In my craft room, I actually plan on just using it as a little vase and putting a couple of those stems in there. I just pulled a couple of those off, but I feel like it's just such a cute little styling piece just like this. And just like the bird that we were talking about earlier, I feel like it'd be perfect to finish off stylings of three on shelves, bookshelves. You can even add this as part of your coffee table styling. If you have a really small powdered bathroom or just a place that has really limited counter space, you could add this sort of thing with a little sprig of greenery and it's perfect to just accent the space and give it a little something, give it a little bit of character. But I I love finding pieces like this for super inexpensive. Again, this was at Hobby Lobby. So if you want to find it for yourself, definitely make sure you check it out. And lastly, but most certainly not least, is another clearance find from Hobby Lobby. Can you tell where I go very often for my home decor? So this is actually a find for my sister's room. This is something that she picked out and I just thought it was really fun and I couldn't resist sharing it with you all. So each of these was $23.99 originally and the reduced price is $6. They are actually the same painting. So this is what one looks like and we have two of them. So basically what we did was right now we're kind of in the process of redecorating her room just a little bit, just sort of changing out the bedding. She got a new mirror recently that was also from Hobby Lobby and I made a painting for her room and she wanted something to go above her bed and she thought that this was perfect. So basically what we did is like I said, they're the same painting, but I took the hardware off of one and I moved it from the top to the bottom. That way it would hang upside down. So basically Basically, when they're in her room, one hangs right side up like this, while the other one is upside down to make them look like they are paintings that go together, when in reality, they're just the same painting. So, like I said, we have these styled above her bed. They're just really simple. I love the very plain sort of whitewashed frame on them, and then just a little hint of greenery with a little bit of a floral. This is also a really great trick if you're trying to style maybe a powder room. You have a really narrow wall. You could put them on top of each other, and again, just flip one upside down and switch the hardware around. This would look really great up against a really dark wall as well. It'd really pop and add a lot of interest. But these are so fun. If you don't regularly check the clearance section at Hobby Lobby, you definitely should. Or any sort of craft store or home decor store for that matter. Places like that are always going to have really fun finds like this that just didn't get sold. So they reduce the price. So you do the same sort of things that you can do with that landscape painting that I showed you. They just look so nice. They're very simple they just add a little bit of character. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope this was cozy and inspiring. I hope you got lots of ideas for your own home. Let me know if there are any fun home decor finds that you have found over the past couple of months. Let me know which piece in this haul was your favorite. If there's something that you have your eye on that you want to see if you can try and find. And if you're new, make sure that you subscribe down below for new videos every other week on my channel, all about home decor, design, and DIY. And again, make sure that you give the video a thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel as well as let me know what you guys like to see. So yeah, I believe that is everything. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye, you guys. Bye.